Today we're here and we're making cream of mushroom soup. I thought for sure my days of enjoying cream of mushroom soup were over when I stopped eating highly processed, full of salt and sodium and sugar and chemical additives and fake milk things. But life got really easy when I found a great way to make cream of mushroom soup out of nothing bad for you. So today, this will take a whole whopping 30 seconds and we'll be enjoying cream of mushroom soup. We're going to use distilled water because I preach distilled water. And we're gonna put about a cup in there. There are a lot of recipes out there in the raw food world on how to make a good cream of mushroom soup. This is a very easy, easy version. Uh, we're gonna use almond butter. Almond butter is a lot like peanut butter, but it's made out of almonds. There's tahini, which is made out of sesame seeds. There's cashew butter. Almond butter becomes a staple in most raw foodist homes. It's a staple in ours because it's really easy to make almond milk by taking a tablespoon of this, two cups of water, and you got almond milk all ready to go. So we're going to put about a half a cup of almond butter in this cream of mushroom soup. We're going to add two to three cups of mushrooms. These are portobello mushrooms. Cremini mushrooms are wonderful as well. Might be a few of those in here. I'm going to use namu shoyu. People can use uh, tamari sauce. Some people use Bragg's. A couple tablespoons. And then we're going to use a salt. In our home and at the store and in our cafe, all we use is a real salt. Uh, real salt is a, it's a brand name, but it's a wonderful mineral salt, sea salt, uh, and it's great. That's it. That is mushroom soup. Here we go. I think that was less than 30 seconds. We're going to pour that into a bowl. Oh, it smells wonderful. We're going to top it with some little pieces of mushroom, and you can throw some parsley on there, and voila! Cream mushroom soup, and it tastes divine. Have to excuse me? I'm going to take my lunch break. 